Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. If you have no idea who I am, I am a first generation low income undergraduate at Stanford University and I made this channel to help other first generation low income students get better access to higher education through my college related videos. For today's video, we're going to be talking about stuff that you don't need for college. So. This video is unique because I'm going to be talking about stuff that other YouTubers claim that they're totally essential for college when in reality, they're not. Believe it or not, a lot of these YouTubers are super, super wealthy, which is also the reason why I decided to make this channel because I wanted there to be more representation of our low income community. A lot of the stuff that other YouTubers claim are essential are actually just luxury items that we can't afford. I know that when I was preparing for college, I watched a ton of YouTube videos of what I should or should not bring to college. And a lot of YouTubers give you a massive list and I got pretty anxious because I was like, I can't afford all of that. So I wish I had someone to tell me that you don't actually need everything that they claim that you need. So this video is mainly going to be about debunking all of those things that other YouTubers claim that you need that you don't actually need. I want to help you save your money so you don't have to waste it on any of these things. I will note that some of these are nice to have, but they're absolutely not essential. The first one on my list is a double backpack or a second backpack. You don't need a second backpack, just take the backpack that you already have. A lot of these YouTubers claim that you need a second backpack because you're gonna wanna use it to study or you're gonna wanna take it to somewhere else. Like the most inconvenience that it has is that you get to empty the backpack that you already have and then just take that one. Like why? Do you need a second backpack? It's not necessary. You might want to have an extra bag laying around if you want to go out with your friends, such as this one, but this is not a whole backpack. I remember when I was shopping for school, I bought a second backpack because a ton of YouTube videos told me to buy a second backpack. And then I was like, what am I doing? I'm not going to use the second backpack. <laughs> second thing on my list is a bathrobe. Now this item is definitely a preference. If you already have a bathrobe, then sure, bring it with you. But if you don't normally use a bathrobe, why are you going to buy one? Like you don't need a bathrobe. You just need a towel. That's all you need. I will say that I had one of these towels where you have Velcro across your chest so that you don't have to hold it up. It was super helpful, at least for me. But you don't need to spend more money on it if you already have towels that you want to bring with you and you definitely don't need to spend extra money on a bathrobe. One of the biggest ones on these YouTube videos is a water filter. You don't need a water filter. Your dorm is most likely going to have water fountains. Why am I going to buy a $200 water filter when I can just walk 20 feet to the water fountain? It's not that big a deal. And some of these YouTubers make it seem like it's the worst thing in the world if you drink tap water. For some low income students, that's normal. So you don't need a water filter. I totally survived without one and I only knew one person like from all of my friends that actually got one. Another big item on these YouTubers list is a vacuum. Your dorm is probably going to have its own vacuum. And a lot of the complaints that come from YouTubers are saying, oh my God, it's too big, it's too bulky, it's old, it's super loud. If it does the job, it does the job. Why am I going to go out and buy an $80 new vacuum when my dorm provides one? Maybe I have to bring it up from the first floor onto the second floor, or maybe I have to wait like 10 minutes until my neighbor's done using it, but it's not the worst thing in the world. You don't need to waste your money on a vacuum. Hand vacuums are also super, super expensive. So instead of buying a hand vacuum to clean up stuff that you're eating on your bed, maybe don't eat on your bed. Speaking of eating, I'm gonna add on cooking supplies. So this totally depends on where you're going or what kind of meal plan you have. But for me, I had a meal plan, so I never cooked. So why would I take like pots and pans if I'm never gonna cook because I have the dining hall. Like I said, this may be completely different for other people who don't have a meal plan and have to rely on cooking, then obviously, yes, that might be a necessity. But if you have a meal plan, you don't need to cook. Another thing is a steamer or an iron. You don't really need it. I had one, but that was because I just have the habit of ironing my clothes, but a lot of my friends didn't and like, it's not a necessity or an essential item at all. Since you're going to be doing your own laundry and I guess hanging your clothes right after they're dry, I'm pretty sure they're going to be like non-wrinkly. And even if you absolutely need an iron, then you can just probably ask someone. And I used my iron probably like three times my whole year at Stanford. 
Another thing that people are gonna convince you to buy are Tide Pods, cause it's super convenient and you can just grab two and walk to your laundromat and drop them in there and you don't have to carry the big old jug. Well, if Tide Pods are super expensive and my big old jug is not super expensive, then I'm gonna carry my big old jug, I'm sorry. Another thing that's super based on preference is Tupperware. So I know Tupperware is super common to use on campus and it's also super common advice to bring Tupperware, but don't bring a ton of Tupperware. Don't bring a 62 set Tupperware because you're not gonna use it. You probably need like two containers. I brought like three containers and I only used one of them once. So you don't need that much. But again, that's up to you, it depends. I have a friend who used her Tupperware every single day, but that's completely up to you. Another common thing is a rug. So you don't really need a rug. It's not like super essential necessity type of thing. It's also based on preference, depending on you and your roommate, how you guys want to decorate your dorm. But it's not really gonna do much, maybe make it prettier probably, but it's not like the worst thing in the world if you don't have a rug. I bought a rug for like $20 and it just like, it did nothing to our room. Like it didn't change it. I probably wouldn't have noticed if it wasn't there at all. And it was kind of a waste of money. A lot of these extroverted YouTubers are gonna make you bring a speaker. You don't need a speaker if you don't normally use a speaker. So this is also completely based on preference. I don't even use a speaker when I'm at home. I already had one, so I took it with me anyways, but you don't need to go and buy one. I had a friend who always used her speaker like almost every day and she would like play super loud music and that was her choice but you know a lot of youtubers just make it seem like it's super essential when it's not. Worst case scenario if you really need a speaker you can just ask around for one. I know this is on some videos but not all videos but that's a flashlight. I've never had to use a flashlight unless you have a super like dramatic event where it's a total blackout on your campus. But other people are probably going to have flashlights including like your RAs and faculty or uh, the administration is going to pass out some type of lighting. Or you can use your phone but you don't like need to buy a flashlight. Like you're going to college not camp. <laughs> Some videos talk about pillows and how like some people sleep with four or five pillows. You don't need that many pillows. Like even some videos say like, oh, you don't need that many pillows, maybe three or four. You don't need three or four either. You could just have one pillow if you really just need one pillow. Like I had two pillows, but like I didn't even use the second one. So you don't need to spend your money. Another huge one is a mattress topper. And look, hear me out. A lot of people are going to hate me for this one. A lot of college students do take a mattress topper and a lot of college students claim that it saves their lives. But I have multiple fly friends who couldn't afford a mattress topper. So they didn't take one and guess what? They're fine. Other videos make it seem like the dorm beds are like made out of wood and you have to lay there and it's super hard and you're gonna die if you don't have a mattress topper. That's not the case. It's a bed just like any other bed. Maybe a mattress topper will make it better and I had one and I did feel like it was a little better but it was like not worth a hundred dollars if I had to spend a hundred dollars the only reason why I took a mattress topper was because I already had one but look if you're low income and all of these videos are telling you that you need to buy a hundred dollar mattress topper you don't you're not gonna die without one it's not super essential and you'll be fine I don't think youtubers really say this but since this is just kind of like an advice thing don't take your high school memorabilia or like your awards and stuff like yeah it's nice that you have like medals or trophies and stuff but you don't really need to take them as decorations you can get creative with other things like dollar store items it's totally cool if you take pictures of your friends from high school but maybe not like your homecoming crown or something that's weird my last thing on my list is an expensive printer. So a ton of YouTubers say that a printer is super, super necessary and it's going to save your life or whatever. And yeah, maybe sometimes in an emergency it might save your life, but is it really worth spending so much money just for something like that to be occasional? Other people might have printers. Your school is probably gonna have printers and maybe the worst thing is that they're gonna charge you like 15 cents a page. And trust me, 15 cents a page is a lot less than buying a $150 printer. And I specifically say expensive printer because you don't need a color printer. Like, what are you gonna use a color printer for? You're just gonna be like printing your essays. If you really do wanna buy a printer and sometimes it does come in handy, 
Maybe you get it from OfferUp, get it used. You don't need to buy a brand new, super expensive printer for your dorm. It's not that essential. So that's what I have for stuff that you don't actually need for college. I hope this video was helpful. Please let me know down in the comments below. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at firstgenfirst or on Twitter, firstgen1st, or send us an email at info at firstgenfirst.org. Bye. like the velcro coming on your on like pots and pans and butter or whatever <laughs> my last thing on my list is an expensive my last thing on my list oh wait my match